Hi, I'm Lisa Von Drasic, and I am the curator of the Children's Literature Research Collections of the University of Minnesota Archives and Special Collections. Welcome to Read This Book, and today our very special guest. Hi, I'm Jan Franson. I am the service lead for Research Information Management Systems at University Libraries. Okay, I gotta ask. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means that uh, I work with systems that keep track of all of the publications and other kinds of research outputs oh. by the faculty members and researchers and staff of the University of Minnesota. So you make sure we have what we're supposed to have. Uh, I Kind of. I make sure that we know what, what kinds of things are coming out of the university and the impacts that we're having, um, both within the university, uh, within the research professions. So it's professions. how we receive and disseminate information. Yes, yeah. Oh, excellent. Now, for your reading pleasure, mm -hmm. you brought a book to recommend? I did. I brought a book called Circe which yeah. is a fairly new book, came out last year. Mm -hmm. uh, I happened to read it for my book group a couple of, a uh, few months ago. And I, you know, I have to say, Lisa, I feel like Greek mythology is having a moment here. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a couple days out from the Tony Awards. Ferryman. Um, well, Ferryman, but I was thinking of Hades Town. Oh, Hades Town. Which I yeah. happened to see when I was visiting yeah. New York City last week. And wow. Hades Town is, is based on Greek mythology. It's a story mm -hmm. of, um, of uh, Eurydice and um, Orpheus. And Circe is similar. It's, it's oh. a retelling of the story of Circe, who is a nymph or goddess, depending on who, what, and, and also known as a witch, a magician. Huh. And, uh, and she's probably most known for the story of uh, Ulysses um, and the, the, the story of the Odyssey in Okay, in Greek, you're going to have sorry. to give a recap to those of us who haven't been up on our Greek yeah, mythologies okay. and stories. So when you say you're most familiar, I know Ulysses was on a journey. Mm -hmm. How did Circe's get involved? So in uh, one of the islands that, mm -hmm. uh, that um, Odysseus and his men stop at is this, this island where Circe lives by herself. Mm -hmm. And again, she is a witch. And uh, Odysseus doesn't go up to her house, but his men all do. And she gives them a potion that turns them all into swine. Okay. Um, and then there's a story about how Odysseus gets his men back and, and you know, all of that. So. But this book is more about her. Right, it's from her perspective. And it weaves that story and a lot of the other stories that both involved uh, Circe in the original tellings and didn't, but involve mm -hmm. other characters in Greek mythology. It weaves them all together into a first person account from her perspective. Uh -huh and really from the female perspective, too. So it's, oh. it's a really fun read. It doesn't change a lot of what you might, if you've read a lot of Greek mythology, a lot of it is you know the same stories, but just told from a different perspective. Um, and so, so you have those aha moments with this retelling where you go, yeah. oh, yes, I know that. But wow, this is so different from this point of view. Yeah, exactly. Or a, a new person shows up in the story, and not only are you reading and trying to get to know who this is, but who is this based on who I already know about from previous knowledge of Greek mythology? What surprised you the most about walking through this journey from her point of view? Oh, well, let's see. I think that the uh, the connotations around women's behavior, I think, mm -hmm. um, you know, the traditional connotation of her as, as a witch and as uh, somebody who's controlling and somebody who's doing bad things an by evil turning these, person. an evil person and who's manipulating men. And from this perspective, defending herself, um, it, it more of a, this is what she had to do to survive, that kind of way mm. of, of looking at it. I think that was the, uh, my takeaway from it. Wow. Well, so you recommend this for our summer reading pleasure. Uh -huh. I'm assuming it's a page turner? It is a page turner, yes. And in fact, the if you prefer an audio book, I, I both listened to it and read it and went back and forth. And I did not mind. I didn't resync it. I just listened to sections over again ah. because I, I just enjoyed the voices. I joined uh, not only the the aud audible voice, but also uh, just the voice of these this character and the people around her. Well, thank you so much, and I'm glad you brought up audiobooks because that's one of my favorite ways of hearing new stories and also exploring a genre that mm -hmm. I might not have picked up off the library shelf. Mm -hmm. Let me just hold up this cover because it truly is stunning. Yes, it is. Um, and this is by Madeline Miller. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, so the recommendation for your summer reading is Circe by Madeline Miller. 
And that's the end of this edition of Read This Book.